Good afternoon. Um, I'm at the Central uh, Library. Man, the ventilation is terrible. The indoor air, I mean, the indoor air oxygen level is terrible, man. I know it's there. I know it is. So, I hope they're breathing off of each other. For real. It's terrible. For real. I see some people just ran out the library. For real downstairs so came back up here and the oxygen level is terrible man terrible and some things I've been looking at it's really weird for a library downtown check this out the drop ceiling is missing a whole bunch of um, tile and um, that's very unusual, man. And it's a water stain right up there. That should have been replaced, man. This is a, a library, library in downtown Birmingham. It's, it's weird, man. man. It's so fucking weird. And plus, the city is crackheads, man. Flat out. I can tell. For real. I can tell. As soon as they come near me, I can tell. These people got bad immune system. Automatically tell, and I can tell they using drugs too. I can tell, I can tell they using drugs. It look like um, they in the drug culture, in a drug culture, uh, dysfunction family, in a drug culture of um, uh, what is adolescence or juvenile uh, pregnancies is repeating itself over and over again. In this community in Birmingham for real I could just see the culture it's, it's look like Klanman uh, the number one movie box office in the movie Klanman it looked just like it is for real underage pregnancies by the same thing it's not it's the same values uh, I came from a two-family home for real for real and uh, I seen what they was using against my mother and my dad. We we from Spanish descent for real. So I started noticing. My fa father just said it's a behavior problem. And if you if you look in the uh, community, in my community, that's the first thing they say is a p behavior problem. You go into this in the African American community, it's a behavior problem and something else problem. So, uh, you know, I look at the culture, and it's not right. It definitely is. It is an adolescence or juvenile pregnancy culture. Don't want to bathe. Don't want to listen to nobody. And it's a woman-oriented culture. Don't want to bathe. First thing, your, uh, you know, dad said, you're going to bathe for real, regularly. It's a routine. You get uh, set in a routine, you feel good about yourself. You feel like you want to live them 700 years taking a flower and, uh, you know, examine it, smelling it, and picturing it in 3D. These people, how can you picture pot liquor in 3D? I don't know, tell me. All right. It's a culture flaw just like Superfly. They got mad about uh, Mr. Vargas. He's a Latino, an African Latino, as played as Superfly. He told them, went to the NAACP, and everybody know, the NAACP, outside the United States, the NAACP is known as a racist organization. Just check out the movie, number one box office movie at the time, Klansman. That's what Mr. Vargas said, and it's the truth. Around the world, that's what the NWCP is known for. It's a racist organization, for real. Just look at um, uh, the perfect example. Look at um, Rachel Dozell. She's a Dirty Dick Slater welfare queen. That's what a Dirty Dick Slater is, a welfare queen. Didn't want to take no other job than a civil rights organizer they offer her other jobs for real her parents had to sound their alarm 
Oh, NAAC said they been something. They never sound alarm. That's what I'm just saying. Nobody's not going to accept that but your cousin. I'm not going to accept that because I'm not your cousin. So, let me know what the, you know, NAACP and my grandfather. Perfect mm -hmm. example. Somebody never speak a harsh word. Don't raise his, uh, don't even raise his voice. But he protect his family. That's all he did. No doubt about it. He was murdered by the Klansmen and these Klans people in Birmingham, Alabama. For real. Don't trust no Klansmen for nothing. Baptist, what is a Baptist? He says a Christian is no Christian to me. They write their own Bible because they print out their own books. Christian books, for real. Peace.